He's all spat his tablet out, so if I stick it in there, he'll eat it. Yeah, talking about you. Good morning. Good morning, Diesel. Happy Saturday. It's freezing cold. You love snuggling in front of the heater, don't you? Yes. I've got a surprise in your bowl for you. Good boy. Tomatoes. Was that yummy? You're wagging your little tail. You precious puppy. Washing that I need to put away. Oops. It's Saturday today. Yesterday I actually started painting our kitchen. When we painted the like downstairs living area initially we didn't do the kitchen just yet because we weren't sure if we were going to actually get a little bit of a renovation on it we did get a quote and it's going to be a lot like i think it was just over 15 grand that's just way too much money for us right now so i'm just in the process of just repainting so at least the color of the kitchen walls matches the rest of the downstairs area. But before I start painting for today, I'm actually going to take Diesel, who's down here on his W-A-L-K. I put the heater on earlier and I've just been sitting on the couch watching watching a couple of like vlogs and home renovation videos and I find a lot of the time when I'm quite busy or I have a lot to do during the day I tend to not take him on his W he will miss out and I just kind of get straight into it but I'm aching a lot I've had some hip pain recently just because of how I've been sitting when I've been editing on my laptop um, down at the coffee table but yeah painting yesterday and, and all of the bending and like weird angles to cut in around cupboards and stuff has really made me sore but I'm not going to use it as an excuse to not get the kitchen finished because I've just got like drop sheets and plastic everywhere and I really want to cook so I would love to be able to finish painting the kitchen by tonight. That's probably a little bit ambitious, but I am going to give it a go because I just want to get it over and done with. Hopefully Kyle's AirPods have enough charge in them that I can listen to a podcast. They should do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my shoes on. Here he is. Here's my precious pup. Why are you crying? Oh, because you know. Are we going to go for a walk? Yeah. Mm, come on. Do you want to go for a walk? Just a little one. Come on then. Get my shoes on. Do you want to go for a walk? Watch this. Whoa. <laughs> Slow down. Oh, you did a burnout. So... He's had arthritis in his right elbow. It's flared up. 
all from the excitement over his new bone. We took him to Pet Bun to choose a new bone, didn't we? And you've been going crazy over it. And we let you off lead the other day. And you loved it, but it's completely exhausted him. I had to lock the door last night. It got to like 8 o'clock. He kept asking to go out. And I just, I had to lock the door and try and just pat him and calm him down. He was just so overexcited and obsessed with his new bone. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right, let me get my shoes. Yeah. Oh, where are they? I didn't even put them away. Oh, be careful. Yeah, we'll just go for a little one, okay? It's a little walk today. It's very cold outside, isn't it? Ooh. I'm finding it very hard to get going. So we'll start off with your walk. I don't want you to miss out. And then we'll get this painting done. About three more coats, I think, should do it, me. Okay? And it's already close to 9.30, so we better get going. Where's Kyle's AirPods? Just gonna unplug the fridge so that we can paint in this little Oopsie, I made a little bit of a mistake. I painted this little alcove where the plumbing for the fridge and the power point goes last. Basically, I every other time I have remembered to do it first, I forgot, I'd already started rolling, so I thought, yeah, I'll just do it when I finish rolling because I already had the roller in my hand and I need to plug the fridge back in, but the wall is wet 
and the plug is under here. So, how wet is it? Tacky. Yeah, too wet. Uh, oh good, I just left a fingerprint in the paint. I might leave it for a little bit, make myself some lunch, and then hopefully by the time I've done that, I can plug the fridge back in. Oh dear. Today's lunch is this mini Diet Coke I bought yesterday. I'll drink it through a straw, but I thought maybe it would be less damaging for my teeth at the moment. And I have one veggie taco left from Guzman. That's what we had yesterday. These are so yummy. And if I'm still hungry after this, I'll just make myself a sandwich because that doesn't require any oven or cooking thing. And of course, I have my knife and fork. I just might feed my dog first because he's going to look at me the whole time I'm eating. I need to leave this to dry for two hours and then I can do my next coat. And one tablet for afternoons. Diesel, do you want your dinner? Do you want your dinner? Oh, come on, look. In there. There you go. Good boy, wagging that little tail. I'm going to enjoy my soft veggie taco and maybe watch something on TV. Oh, speaking of things to watch on TV, last night, sorry, Diesel drinks very loudly. Are you finished? Okay, it's going outside. Last night, Kyle and I watched the David Attenborough documentary. I think it was on Apple TV Plus. And, oh, what was it called? Was it called When the World Was Still? I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look it up. But it was so good. It was about what happened to the animals and basically how much of a benefit it was to them and the earth while everyone was in lockdown last year and Kyla and I watched it together and we both really really enjoyed it and it was just like it was just amazing to see what even the whales were doing in the water and scientists were documenting them making different sounds that they'd never heard before and they were going into areas that they wouldn't normally go and even leaving their babies by themselves while they go off to eat. Absolutely fascinating to watch so I think it might only be on Apple TV but if you have it I would definitely recommend that if you haven't seen it already. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to go and eat this. And yes, I'm eating it cold. Okay, so I've just finished putting the second coat on the kitchen. Just plugged the fridge back in as well. And I feel like the splashback just really stands out like a sore thumb. 
so do these top cabinets but the splashback is actually glass and behind it it was painted the same color as the rest of the wall was originally that really dark beigey color that i don't like so i don't really want to leave it like that also the dark brown really is standing out with <laughs> this white now i can't do much about that at the moment but i'm thinking for the backsplash a good idea might actually be to get some of those peel and stick tiles well, i'm not sure there were two that i saw online that i quite liked and they both potentially could work in this area one is just white uh, kit kat tiles i think they could go well with the walls already being um, quite a bright white you can't really tell in this light here but it is a warm toned white i'm not sure if it's really showing up on camera though but the other option I thought could potentially work and maybe wouldn't make these cabinets at the top stand out so much is marble look peel and stick tile. There was like a fish scale one that I saw online too and I don't know. I think that could be a good option. I can sort of visualize it but if I had a sample I feel like that would be a lot easier to make a decision because I could stick it in the corner so it's against the cabinet and the wall so i'm thinking about ordering a sample of each of those i'm just giving the paint a little bit more time to dry and then i'm going to go in with the paintbrush again and do some more cutting in at least one more coat of cutting in tonight then i'll allow it to dry like overnight and we'll see if I think I need to paint like another full coat on the walls but so far it's had four and I think that should be enough all right I want to get this last coat on just cutting in should be fine yeah oh hello have you been enjoying your bone Oh, you're all cold. You've got cold little ears. It's freezing outside. But I'm keeping the back door open. Kind of for this little piglet, but also just for a bit of airflow while I'm painting. You're a good boy. Yes, you're so soft. What's the time? 4.52. That's not too bad. It'll take about an hour and a half to cut all this in again. And then I'm going to ask Kyle to put this back in there. Good morning. It is now the next day. It is Sunday so you will be watching this same video tonight I'm working on editing right now I'm sitting in my office this morning and I kind of forget how much I actually love this room until I come and sit up here I've just had a shower and I've put these eye masks on it is definitely one of those days so the reason that I didn't actually end this video last night was because I was finishing off the final coat and Kyle actually ordered Uber Eats and it just kept saying it was going to be delayed further and further and further. We'd already been waiting like an hour and a half and it was like pretty much our bedtime when <laughs> he just decided to cancel the order and we ended up cooking some nugs for dinner because by that point I had obviously finished painting the entire kitchen so what I might do is just insert a little overview of what it looks like now
So that's it guys, that's what my kitchen looks like so far now that it has been completely painted. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.